This series of our kits is packaged in a choice of either a green or a hay coloured linen pouch. The particular opening of the pouch means that you can open it out for use as a round cloth. The base of the pouch ends up as the embroidered central portion of the cloth, decorated in medieval style. You can lay the cloth out on your lap, on a tree stump or on the ground in order to conveniently prepare everything you need to make a real primitive fire. This sort of pouch is one of the most roomy in our range of fire making kits. And in this kit you'll find two bundles of flax or jute twine for preparing dry kindling. It's easier to form a ball with a bundle of flax, but kindling made from jute twine will catch fire more quickly as its fibres are much thinner. As a result, a bundle of jute twine will last you longer than a bundle of flax. In the plus version of this kit we also have included some natural tinder made from birch tinder fungus which was in widespread use in Northern Europe during the Middle Ages. Charcloth tinder was used a great deal less often because fabric was expensive at the time. Here's a big piece of flint and a tinder box made of tin with 30 pieces of charcloth tinder carefully placed inside. One piece ought to be enough for you to make a fire. Later on you can use the box in any natural cotton or linen fabric to make more tinder over a fire. And here's a twisted steel striker wrought by a true artisan and attached to a leather cord. This steel striker emulates the shape of Scandinavian ones used by the Vikings. It has a length of 3 inches. This kit is best for those who respect tradition. It's most suitable for use when you want to properly build a fire in a fireplace or primitive hearth in order to cook some food.